one of the key concepts that children have got to be able to understand when they move into key stage two is to be able to multiply and times by 10 and 100. Children have got to be taught that the digits move. So in this case, we've got 32, which is three tens and two units. If we were to multiply this by 10, the digits move one place to the left. So the tens move into the hundreds we would have three hundreds. The units then move into the tens and then the zero moves from the tenths into the units. So 32 multiplied by 10 is 320. It's very tempting at this stage to say to the children, oh you just add a zero when you times by 10. If you do this it really confuses the children when they come to do decimals as we'll show you now. When we are dealing with decimals, such as 3.2 multiplied by 10, the children need to know that the digits move one place to the left. So 3.2 multiplied by 10, the units would move into the tens and become 30. The tenths then move into the units, so you get two units. So 3.2 multiplied by 10 equals 32. If we've just taught the children to add a zero, all they do is 3.2 and they put a zero in the hundredths, which is meaningless and just gives you the same answer as 3.2. That's why it's essential when you're teaching this to your children, you teach them to move the digits, not just add a zero. When we're dividing by 10, we just work the opposite way around. So we've got 230. When we divide this by 10, all the digits move one place to the right. So the hundreds move into the tens. The tens move into the units, and the units move into the tens. So we would have 230 divided by 10 would give us 23.0. However, we would just write this as 23. If we're dividing 23 by 10, the digits just move one place to the right. So the tens go into the units, so we get two units. The units move into the tens. So 23 divided by 10 would give you 2.3. And again, it's emphasizing with the children that it's the digits that move. Again, one of the misconceptions is the decimal point moves. The decimal point never moves. It's always the digits. A common mistake that the children make when dividing by 10 is if they have a number that has a zero in the middle, instead of moving all the digits one place to the right, they just make the zero disappear. So the children would write 203 divided by 10 and put the answer as 23. What you need to reinforce to your children is that the digits have got to stay in the same place. So if the zero is next to the two, it's always got to be next to the two. If the zero is in front of the three, it's always got to be in front of the three. So 203 divided by 10 would give the answer of 20. Point three. Just something to look out for if you're doing your homework with your child.